Hello my fellow donuts and welcome back to Snatcher. I'm sorry I know it's been a while since we played it. I didn't have time but today I do so let's continue. Um, I tried uh, to find that uh, Napoleon guy off camera and I was a bit uh, um, pissed off because I did, I did pretty much the same I did before, I just looked and investigated, I think. And he just appeared out of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> I will be super pissed off if it's not gonna work again, because I actually made it. I think I was looking at nearby people, and we are probably just should do it a few times and... Try to find him. Maybe I should do it uh, like a look a few times first, and then oh, the guy who was in on the phone is headed this way. Is that him? See, I have no idea how it. Yeah, I think well, that's him. Well. So you're the new junker, eh? You Napoleon. Let's keep this short, okay? The snatcher sees me here and I'll be the next one eliminated. Ah, <sighs> send Napoleon home. We just met. Don't even do it. Look at Napoleon. He's called Napoleon, but he's ethnic Chinese. <laughs> Bizarre, if you ask me. Hey, what do you think you're doing searching me? <laughs> Why not? Before that, how about if you show me your jump care? Oh, okay. Possessions, sh show, and um, ID. So you are the real thing, eh? What with that little walk-in trash can, trash can with you? You stick out like a sore thumb anyway. Then why did you even ask about my ID? Everybody's probably figured it out by now. But you. <laughs> hey, watch it! <laughs> Poor Metal Gear. So what do you want from me for? Um, talk? Should we? Okay. And the new Junker. My name's Gillian Seed. Oh yes, another one trying to hurry to his grave. <laughs> wow. I don't do liquid sky, believe me. What is that supposed to mean? That's enough, enough, your name is a, a wonderful name. Oh, <laughs> he's jealous. <laughs> envy, envy, I guess that's the right wor word here. Gibson, do you, did you know him well? Gibson was killed by Snatcher, do you know anything about it? What? Gibson got killed? He said something about Snatchers being after him. Yeah, that happened. Too bad about good old Gibson. That was a shocker. Maybe it's about time I thought about changing my line of work. Okay, that's all. What a pain! Why don't we just arrest this guy? Uh, who? Oh, it's Gillian speaking. Why do we want to arrest Napoleon? He was kind of helping uh, Gibson, no? That right. One of these days I'll tell you why I'm called Napoleon. Uh, tell me right now. If you want to live for long in this business, whatever you do, you can't sell yourself out. Okay. What's with these questions about me? Informants are supposed to be mysterious types, alright? Okay, so you just made up that name. Got it. Let's get this over with quickly, alright? No. Did you notice anything unusual about Gibson lately? Who knows? I didn't hear much from him for a while. 
you're not being a lot uh, much of help here he said he'd found something big about snatchers but he didn't tell me what it was huh he prob he didn't want to or he didn't have time to tell you No and Gibson, he probably found out something really important. Probably the info I already found, like some things that could help us expose who snatchers are. Gibson ate buffalo somewhere just before he was killed. Any ideas? Follow his trail and use a little intuition. Trail? What? Do you know any places that serve buffalo? Hmm, since. Um, okay, I got it. Um, you didn't have to s tell me that though, because um, that was my plan, I think. Since that pr prohibition. Prohibition? Never mind. On shooting, buffalo went into effect. Almost nobody will touch the stuff. Well, I may have a few ideas, but I'm not a charity, you know. You have, you want money, don't you? What is Liquid Sky? Um, it's that drug that's really popular right now. It stimulates nerve centers, sends you on quite a trip, I hear. Mr. Big runs this island. You know, there are a lot of things that remind you of Metal Gear. And solid <laughs> series like liquid big and stuff metal gear <laughs> I've never done any of that you get started on that and you're finished yeah yeah better not even try hey man's gotta earn a living you know what I mean how about a little more gener generosity on your part? <sighs> Fine. How about I show him money? <laughs> Not give him money. Oh, I see they keep you well equipped. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what if I just show him my ID again? You probably don't want to be flashing that around in these parts. Why? Are there some snitchers around the place? Creepy. Um, use cash. Here, take it. Well, thank you. Okay, how about this now again? It's the only place in Neo Kobe that serves buffalo. Yeah, there is a masquerade club called Outer Heaven. <laughs> Another thing from Metal Gear, huh? I'm pretty sure they serve buffalo. Oh, no, no. I wanted to ask about Outer Heaven. It's quite a famous hangout in that particular industry. It's like a big masquerade party. Customers have to wear masks or whatever, or they can't get in. How do you eat in a mask? It's supposed to be a restaurant, no? Well, yeah, I guess there are masks that just cover eyes or half of a face or something. That makes the place pretty popular with a lot of VAPs and a lot of high places. I'm really busy. Just get to the point, okay? You are the one talking a lot here. Where is it? Mm, maybe once again? To get in there, you gotta have a mask from over at the Plato's Cavern. Or they won't let you in. I actually have it already. It's a black market where you can buy without a permit. I don't, ha I don't need a permit to buy a mask, I think. Or is there something I don't know? They've got absolutely everything there. I think Gibson stopped by there quite a bit himself. Why don't you visit the place? You might find some leads. Okay, I'm sorry guys. Just a second. Yeah. 
really, really sorry about that. Anyway, we've been there, but... Ah, oh, you are very helpful. Never mind. Outer heaven, location. I'm not doing this for fun, you know. I'm gonna need a little something to get me talking. Money again? God. You've really got nerve. Take it. Oh, it's Gillian. <laughs> uh, I'm too bad at wasting anyway. Napoleon sounds like Gillian anyway. As always, thanks so much. You'll be a good junker one of these days. Yeah, now talk. It's on the 17th street in the HI HS district. Um, isn't that it? I think that's it. We don't... Sent home? You've been really helpful, thanks. Call me again if you need something. I just hope it's not gonna take that long to um, find him again. There he goes. Um, look for Napoleon again? He just went home. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. I wanted to save the game. You know what? Well, let's call our... Um, Um, wife? I'm trying to find my wife's number. God, I can't find it. Let's just ask Metal Gear. Jamie. Her name is Jamie. Always uh, forgetting. 393444. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna probably call her often. I want them to get together. Hi, Jamie speaking. Oh, Gillian, how are you? How are you? Let's ask about date. Ocean? Jamie, let's go to the ocean. Where should we go? How about Ashia Bay? Or Old Suma? Wait, I know. Let's go to Maiko Park. It's sealed off, but I know back way in. It'll be... It'll be okay, I have my Junker Pass. Besides, it's an all-weather type bitch, it won't be that cold. I'm sorry, Gillian, but you know I hate wearing swimsuits. Your scar from having your appendix out, right? Is that... Is it that big? When are you ever going to stop worrying about that? I'm sorry, Gillian. I just don't feel like doing that kind of thing yet. Fine. Same as always, keeping myself busy so the loneliness doesn't have time to sink in. Okay, never mind. Probably nothing much changed. But I should call her for uh, on date uh, more often. Maybe one day it will uh, work out. They were together at some point anyway. Um, we have a new location, so let's just uh, move on. We are we have done uh, we are done with Pl Plato's Cavern. We got the mask, so uh, I guess we can just go right into Outer Heaven. Let's see. It should look pretty awesome, probably. Damn, that's a mask. It scared the sh shit out of me. Oh, okay, it's Metal Gear talking. This is Outer Heaven. Welcome to Outer Heaven. Table Hi. for one. 
uh, have my metal friend here, so two. <laughs> Move. No. Uh, okay. I have to be careful when I say this, but our buffalo's the best in the world. It's a genuine wild thing. No, genetic manipulation. So you guys are serving that. Who are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Show. Uh, photo. Gibson. He doesn't know him. I don't work out here every day, you know. The staff in the club may know something. Okay. Go inside. Uh, wait a moment, please. We are in the middle of masquerade hour. You'll need... I thought you always need to wear a mask. Okay, never mind. You'll need some kind of mask or costume if you want to go in. You'll need to have one of our exclusive masks from Plato's Cavern, or I'm afraid I can't let you in. I suggest that you purchase a mask over at Plato's Cavern. We look forward to your next visit. I have it. How do I... Use, maybe? Mask. Alright, so let's try on the Easter... Easter Island mask. Oh, that looks great on you. Can I go in now? Yeah, I can. That's awesome. Ooh. I was expecting something more um, classic <laughs> from what I heard from all those masquerade stuff and I thought this place is mm, something kind of a light a light the light how do you say that it's just not something I was but then again Gibson I guess I could see him being here hmm. Yeah, the customers are all depressed up, dressed up in various costumes that appears to be show time now. Who's the guy over behind the counter? He appears to be the manager of the place. Cool. Everyone is dressed as the char character from a classic late 20th century video game. The people who run this place must really be into old time nostalgia. Okay, Mr. Ueda, is that the guy who who's, has something to do with Resident Evil? <laughs> Contra and Castlevania. I have no idea what these two are. Hey, isn't that the guy who fought against the evil pigs from the Devoting this empire? Oh yeah, the rocket guy. What's his name? Spinster? Sponster? Parkster? What is that? Sparkster. The customer with a spiky hair cut is dressed as Goman? Go Go Eman? A mystical ninja. You're right! Boy, that was really a great game. Those designers were really brilliant. I'm sure these are the games of Konami, am I right? <laughs> uh. The Ga Gaiman? I have no idea how you pronounce that. Hayukat became a real cultural icon. J Japanese motorcycle gangs started to all wear their hair like that. Can I investigate them twice? He's dressed as the video game hero. Yeah. So, there is some. 
and customer is dressed as the hero's parkster, the rocket knight. Which I know nothing about. The fellow is dressed as the character from the controversial video game Lethal Enforcers. It caused quite a stir in the 90s, I mean, when the two senators from the United States started a two man crusade against video game violence. Those same two senators were later voted out of office in a humiliating landslide when their constituents decided that they wanted representatives who would do something about real violence on the streets. Yeah, makes sense. Oh yeah, I believe that game also spawned a whole generation of imitations, didn't it? I never heard about that game, what is it about? Yeah, that's true, a lot of companies produced inferior copies, but none matched the success of the original. As a matter of fact, that game was used in the academy for training purposes. It's amazing how people can use a simple video game as an excuse for all society's problems. It's always easier to point the figure at the other guy than it is to point it at yourself. Human nature hasn't changed at all since then, huh? Probably. Lethal... Maybe I should check it out. <laughs> Never heard about it. That customer is dressed as the Contra character. I'm starting to sense the theme here. How about you, Gillian? Yeah, me too. I guess you and I are pretty out of the place among all these Konami characters, huh, Metal Gear? <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, only Gillian, really. <laughs> Wait a second! <laughs> they both are too. Hmm, I wouldn't say that. As a matter of fact, I suspect that we fit in much better than you realize. Funny, Gillian himself once, uh, men in the previous part, he mentioned that. Uh, you know, he's kinda in the game. So, the game already at least broke the fourth wall, like two times at least. At least that's what I noticed. What the heck are you talking about, Metal? These are all the fictional video game characters. We are the only real ones in here. Um. The last one. Those two are pretty suspicious looking. They appear to be dressed as characters from the famous Castlevania series of video games from the late 20th century. Yeah! Well, that really takes me back. I remember spending hours playing it. I didn't even take time off to sleep. Wait a minute. What am I talking about? I wasn't even born then. So what? You can play older games later, <laughs> like I do right now. I must be thinking about something else. But I'm sure I remember remember playing it. I remember it was I was so pissed because I couldn't just off the stairs, jump. I mean, off the stairs. Everyone felt that way, Gillian. It was very frustrating, according to. Mm, statistical records, the teenage suicide rate increased dramatically in that year. Wow, if that a joke, it's damn not funny. If it's not a joke, it's just horrible. That is Simon Belmont and Master of Evil Dracula. How about Alucard? I know nothing about <laughs> Castlevania, I'm sorry. Let's look at the answer, that's uh, what we wanted anyway, right? We all came here for this, even though we didn't even know there is a hot woman dancing. That's an um, interesting way of dancing, though. Savor the moment, Gillian, her dancing is really something special. Gillian, what are you staring at? Something? <laughs> wow, she really knows how to move her body. Ah. Customers. Investigate them. 
We couldn't learn anything. <laughs> okay. Other than us, the clay and teal here looks a little rough. What am I supposed to do here? Manager? Why do I need to? Hello, can I help you with something? That's a mask, right? Creepy. Um, it's one of the characters from Cosmic Debris. Well, you really know your stuff, don't you? I have no idea. I'm afraid I don't know who that is. Do you have a photograph? I actually do. Hmm. Damn it. Who is this? I'm afraid I don't know him. You see, nearly half of our operating hours is masquerade hour. So I wouldn't know if he was here or not. Ah, uh, you are very damn helpful. Sorry, I really don't know. In this business, you meet so many people, I can't remember all of them, you know. Hmm. Isabella may know. She's the close. I have no idea how you're supposed to know that you have to do it multiple times. Uh, maybe you should just uh, repeat all actions until they uh, start repeating, cycling. Uh, I guess that's the only way to complete this game. Okay. Um, I, I just remember that part with Napoleon last time and... God, that annoyed me so badly. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just... I was pissed off. <laughs> Okay, who's the uh, Bella? Wait. She'll be dancing here through the end of the month. Look, she's at the right now. She's between pictures at the moment, so we had her come dance for us. She's one of the top in the business right now. We are the only club that she'll dance at, you know. She danced for a while here long before she got famous, you know. That's why she comes back every now and then. Hmm. Being grateful, I guess. I've known her since she was a lot younger. But she's hardly changed. She's a good kid. It's that woman that is dancing right now. How am I supposed to talk to her? Would you care to try some? It's really a unique flavor. I don't know. Order? <gasps> Let's take some. How about bringing us some of that buffalo? Here you are. <laughs> Again? This is really good. Please stop this, Killian. I need more. This is... <laughs> you just ate! Can't I have more? God, I love food. Moon salt? So, is it alcohol? No. I hope there is no 
like end game if I do it too many times. Actually, wait. Think we you never can tell, but Isabella might know something. Okay, fine. Customers? Call customers? <laughs> wow, they don't look friendly, especially the guy on the right. What? We haven't done nothing. an interesting way of speaking. I probably should show them the... Mm, okay. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? <laughs> Hi there, boys. I'm Isabella Velvet. Is there something I can do for you? An Easter Island statue and a robot? Robot, you're right. Let's look at her. Oh my god, what a knockout. And that leather outfit. Oh, it's leather. Good to know. What's wrong? Do you find me attractive? <laughs> Guess it's just obvious. Jeez, look at the size of those uh, eyes on her. <laughs> it's amazing what 21st century technology is capable of. What do you mean? I mean, they can be, um, natural. What's wrong, Gillian? Gotta love these actresses. Jamie looks like a little boy compared to this woman. Wow. Wow, Gillian. I can't believe you, you, you said- Are you serious? I saw your woman. She looks damn nice. Just because she has slightly, um, uh, um, uh, Smaller boobs doesn't make her look like a boy at all. She has at least num like size two, I think. Maybe even more. I'm bad at this. <laughs> Please don't stare at me like that. I'm shy and you're embarrassing me. Wow, a woman who's dancing is uh, half naked, almost naked, is shy. Oh, you're a pretty good-looking guy. Long face, nice tan. Oh, I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> I wouldn't mind le letting you take me out for dinner or something. What about after dinner? After dinner. Mm -hmm. She doesn't even see his face. That's interesting. Well, that all depends on you. Metal, did you hear that? Don't forget that we are all we are in the middle of an investigation. Just relax, Metal. I'll buy you a cute little robot to play with later. So, Isabella, when would you like to go out? What? Did you think I was serious? I was just kidding. What? J just kidding? Come on. With that Easter Island mask, I can't even tell what you look like. Well, it would appear that she really took you took you for a ride. Ouch. <laughs> oh. That's about enough, right? Consider yourself lucky for being able to get such a close look at me. That uh, yeah, I guess she's uh, becoming angry right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm done. <laughs> Make yeah, that's exactly what I thought actually. Um, okay, can we investigate her? 
No, I think it's best if I handle it. If I handle it. I can manage by myself. What's wrong? Are you going to investigate me? Uh, no, that's alright. Isabella, would you mind giving me your phone number? No way. I'm afraid I can't tell you. I believe we can actually have her phone number if we ask a lot. Let's see. See, she added give it up. Oh, okay, you win. Alright, listen carefully. I'm only going to tell you once. It's 396004. When you call, make it in the afternoon, okay? Um, okay. I hope that Metal Gear mm, recorded that. What is that? Snicker supposed to mean? Do something? Oh, what time do you get off work today? Are you trying to invite me somewhere? You have to come on stronger than that. Would you like to go out with me, Isabella? I'm just not excited by those run of the mill commands. Well, that makes two wi women who have dumped you. Okay, great. Is there some problem with my approach? No, the problem is you. Well, you you know, they say that many women are uncomfortable around particularly handsome men. Keep repeating that yourself. Whatever you say, Gillian. I'm just not excited. Mm, yeah. What if we do it too many times? Is it possible? Mm. What? What? You're in the wrong joint, buddy! Forget about the check! Just get out of my place now! Oh, shit! Sorry, but we have to maintain an atmosphere in which our customers can relax, you know? Damn, can I uh, go inside? I'm very sorry, but the manager has told me not to let you into the club. Shit! I didn't ask her! Should I buy another mask? Apologize. Money. Just awesome. Fucking great. Probably have to move somewhere. Well, let's just move to another uh, place, like Alton Plaza again, and go back. I have time will fly. That was. That totally wasn't in my plan. Just in case, I will exit. Maybe uh, look at something, just in case you know. And now go back. I hope it will work. If not, we are probably needing to buy another mask. I'm very sorry, but the manager had... But I can't 
can't do anything. Come on. God. How do I proceed? I, c I can't do anything if I don't talk to that damn woman. Uh, let's go to this place. Maybe we'll buy another mask. They, I mean, they didn't see my face, right? They don't know who I am. So I'll just p pretend I'm someone else. Did I smell? Feeling hungry. Pizza, sushi, hamburgers, hot dogs, Neo Kobe pizza. Neo Kobe pizza? What's that? It's a new type of pizza where you drop your favorite pizza into special boiling soup. And that's no Kobe pizza? I wonder if it's any good. Doesn't sound good to me. Kind of. What do you mean? It's uh, appearance has almost put the other food one wonder is out of business huh how do I eat it though Said, but you already have one. I don't. I want another mask. Okay. Just awesome. The monster. <laughs> It happened again, he got out with the mask on. Damn, I really don't know what to do. I fucked up and I didn't save my game. That's bad. I really, I just really don't think we can do anything else besides going where what if I just call that woman I got her number you know <whistles> how many times <whistles> maybe if I just do it a few times it will work out I don't know. Just anywhere.
39604 Maybe if I call her she she will help me get into that place again Hi, I'm Stella the Stiga Zauer what? Thanks for calling. Will you be my friend? What was that? I just don't get it. Did she tell me the wrong number? What a bitch. Wait. I got the wrong number. The number you have reached is not in service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. JTNT Neo Kobe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I have a number only plot of cover, and I don't have the number of um maybe ah oh, shit the number you have reached is not in service at this yeah time. because Please there's the for some reason there is no way this to quit the dial uh, menu if you enter it you have to actually enter the number and see this unskippable thing damn it uh, maybe can I go inside and take a s s sleep? But then um, probably the new slot. I never used third slot so far. Okay, continue. Even though I have no idea what to do, let's um call Jamie. I don't remember her number. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Hi, Jamie speaking. Oh, Gillian, how are you? Let's talk. Okay, let's ask her on the date with any possible way and see if it's possible. <laughs> I 
it seems like the option, um, specific option for a date disappears after you use the second try on it. See? There are less options now. Let's just uh, try them all. If you want to read uh, what he says, you can just pause the video. Killian, I'm heading out right now. Sorry, I have to hang up. Great. Awesome. Are you sure you're busy? <laughs> yeah, she is. I just... I have no idea what to do now. I have to... That woman is supposed to give me information. And I um, really am lost. I can't spend time here in my place to sleep or something. No option for that. I'm lost. And I can't even buy a new mask. Ah. It would be so easy if I just bought the mask and entered the place again. They wouldn't even know I'm, it's me. I don't know, maybe I have to talk to Napoleon? Let's go back to Alton Plaza. Maybe he can help me with that. you remember his number Maybe it's because I'm uh, at the plaza. Maybe I'm not supposed to be at the plaza. I have no idea. Um, let's uh, go back into the HQ. Talk to some people. Maybe I fucking have no idea. And let's see. Maybe we can call him from HQ. Welcome back, Gillian. How's your investigation going? Learn anything new? <sighs> I read that magazine City Life today, every month, but I've never seen anything about it. Is it famous or something? I've never heard of it. Ok, 
Okay, let's call Napoleon again. I just don't know. Someone is supposed to help me with that. Or maybe we got everything. Oh, no. Why don't we get the password? God. I'm so happy that it's all it's usually this word because that's the only answer I I know. You better be at the place. I need some help with outer heaven. But before that, let's go to boss and uh, talk about our outer heaven too. And probably with Harry. No, it's not going well. Do they have an inner heaven too? Doesn't sound um, right. We have to figure there are stores like that in this city. not a store. This is store. Okay, he doesn't know anything. Let's go to engineering room and talk to Harry. No, I'm not doing a good job, unfortunately. What are you saying, boy? I'm not headed to heaven anytime soon. <laughs> what? As a matter of fact, I don't know either. Plot is covering, eh? I've heard of that somewhere. It's the name of the post-war black market. Oh, really? I'll have to go take a look one of these days. I'm sure you like it, Harry. These guys know nothing. Um, front. So let's just get out of here. Um, here? I'll be. At least I will try to. Uh, let's go to the plaza. God, we're wasting so much time here just to be able to go back into the place. That's the... That's my mistake, because I didn't save the game often. Don't repeat my mistakes, guys. Again? Finally, god damn it. help me with that. But you already told me! Use money? Okay. Okay, bye then. God, if it's not gonna work now, I have no idea what to do. Uh, 
Yeah, the investigator from the other day is back. We hope that we can avoid the unpleasantness of the other day. What was the unpleasantness? The thing was, I just showed her my ID and everyone gone bizarre and what the hell, that's just not nice. Okay. So much time. But uh, no! <sighs> yeah, right, why not? Was that sound there before? I don't think I noticed it though. Dancer? Yeah, but you, you gave me the wrong number. I don't know who you're talking about. Do you have a picture? Wait a second, what is that? That's right. Uh, you know, I have a new holographic movie that starts shooting next month. And I have to start studying my, my lines, so... Awesome. What kind of man do you like? Let's see, somebody really masculine who you can depend on. You know, the, the kind of guy who grabs you and says, Come on, baby, follow me. If the guy is masculine, it, it's not necessarily mean you can um, rely on. Somebody with well-formed opinions. But I hate guys who aren't flexible. Well, that about rules you out, Gillian. You shut up. <laughs> well, investigators are really strong and masculine types. I was always a big fan of crime dramas when I was little. So, does it mean you like me? Uh, still, it really doesn't matter as long as you like the guy. Yeah, I must admit, uh, it's true, everyone has some kind of preferences, but once you find the right person, it it absolutely doesn't matter. And that special person can totally be, like, absolutely not like uh, what you usually like, and it absolutely doesn't matter. Okay, oh, uh, we should show her the picture I might have met him somewhere no I can't remember she seems like she might be able to remember if we gave her money probably am I right take a careful look okay hmm oh that's right this was the guy who got sick after eating buffalo. I remember him. I ate it like four or five times today. Or was it yesterday, really? Do something? Okay. Well, it was just the other day. It wasn't masquerade hour, so I remember his face pretty clearly. He seems to be he seemed to be waiting around for one of our regular customers. He was going out of his way to eat buffalo, then he spat up blood. I was really grossed out. Blood? I don't think that's supposed to happen though. What? You say he was waiting for someone? Well I suppose it was more like he was following him. He laughed as soon as the other guy did. Interesting. Would 
you mind telling me a little about him? I don't know his name, but he wasn't here all the time, especially when he, we weren't running Masquerade Hour. Outside of Masquerade Hour? So that means you've seen his face then. Do you remember it? I think so. Alright, Metal, let's have her come down to headquarters with us. We need to use Jordan and put together a montage. Montage? I can take her to quarters. Why not? Well, it's like the mass manager said, she's a star actress. If the media were to find out about this, we'd never get any cooperation ever again. What are you mumbling about? This is really a delicate issue. Although inconvenient, we should take down her description and then go back to headquarters to build the montage. Montage? Montage? On her own. He wasn't here at all different times, so he probably doesn't have a job or work on regular hours. I've only been here for a month, so I don't know anything about what happened before that. Okay. Could you try to remember this distinguishing character in his? Characteristics. Gillian, keep the description in mind. Afterwards, we can use it to put together a montage. Oh god. What was the overall shape of his face? He had kind of bony look. Bony look. Okay, it's always one option, seems like. What about his eyes? He had this really piercing gaze, a rather threatening look. Threatening. Okay, yeah, only one option, just had to check it out. Nose? Pointy, like mine. You have a pointy nose? Okay, never mind. Thin lips, I think. It was sort of naturally flowing towards the back of his head. Uh, like naturally towards the back? I don't think. Like Gibson's? He had a big wi widow's peak. Wait, what is widow's peak? I have no idea. <laughs> About how old? He looked like he was in his 30s. Pretty young? Okay. You've been a tremendous, tremendous help. I'll be waiting for your call, huh? Okay, let's go and uh, use that information on Jordan. What? What is that funny smirk supposed to mean? Uh, I forgot my wallet. Really? I thought I just saw you with it. Expenses? This is all just expenses for the investigation, right, Metal? I'm not so sure about that. Okay, that's a ten thousand exactly. Thank you. Wow. Is that because I ate so much? Yes, I'm going not really home, but it's none of your business really.
kind of. Yes, I do. Not gonna tell you though. What if she's a snatcher? It's so convenient for her to work it. Um, at here. <laughs> a computer room. That's probably what we need. Okay. Facial. Bony look. F what is bony exactly? Five? Seems like it's supposed to be three. Is that supposed to be bony? Huh. That's just... I don't know. Eyes. She said... Threatening? Six look pretty damn good to me. Wow. I already l like him. Pointy nose like her, she said. I guess that's kind of like mm, something like that. Mouth. Don't remember much what she said about the mouth. Did I even ask her about that? Wow, yeah, that. that looks complete on the back wait widow's peak it's that thing on the second picture am I right or on the fourth it may be the fourth too I think Just lift it without deck chili. Oh god. Are you kidding me? Can we say descriptions are too, are a little bit too wide I guess only the only thing that kind of suits is eyes everything else not so much the alpha one network will be searching for possible matches good work Gillian Two possible matches for a montage. Photograph located. Possibility of number one. Probability of March match. 70%. Ivan Rodriguez. <gasps> wow, he's handsome. Air surfer, a mature, 27 years old. The address and stuff. Non municipal data administration district. Whatever it is. Possibility number two. Probability of match 65% displaying data. Freddy Nielsen. Strange. He looks so uh, like. more like that one we are looking for, if you ask me. 
Couldn't we just ask of the color of the hair? Um, because their hair is different color for sure. So that would just uh, help us right away. But I don't really think we can do it. Family wife Lisa, age 25. Wait, how old is he exactly? Is there any information about that? Because he skipped it, I think, but was there. Gilly and the montage has been printed. Now we are in the business. It's a simple two-dimensional rendering of the Jordan's three-dimensional data. But it should prove useful anyway. Well, we, are, we have got their addresses. Shall we pay these gentlemen a visit? One of these men is no doubt the snatcher who killed Jean. I have a, I have a feeling I know who it is. It's probably the second guy. We've almost got him now. Let's go investigate the suspects. Yeah, let's do it. Mm. Front. remember who who was who so I don't I don't care we'll just go with what we have in order we'll probably have to check them all but anyway so According to the data in Jordan, this should be his neighborhood. Ah, this place is a real slum. District data and retrieval networks haven't been installed in this area. As such, there, there is virtually no data on the area in the Alpha 1 network. This region is almost completely isolated. Freeman. <laughs> Their actual lifestyle is not unlike that of the homeless. See, there you have get. They are gathered around the fire. How are they different from the homeless? Unlike the less fortunate, these people have chosen to live this like this, uh, often leaving good jobs to do so. I've actually, uh, I never uh, met people like that, but I've heard. I, I mean, I know people who know people like that, who actually left a uh, family, who left uh, pretty good jobs, and decided to live like homeless people. Um, it's I just don't understand why would you do that. Um, it appears to be a form of rebellion towards the over-control of the information by central authorities. Well, I don't think it, um, it, <laughs> it does anything bad for these authorities, actually. They are one of the Neocopy's biggest problems. Maybe they know something? Why don't we ask them? Should we? Hey, you guys. What? I need to talk to you. Yeah. Could you tell me anything you know about the man called Ivan? Was there anybody named that around here? You lied to me. Wasn't there? Apparently. And you live to regret it. You know, just in case, I should save my game because what if something bad happens again? I wouldn't even live through it. Okay. Um. 
Hmm, that's that idiot Ivan, so you know him. He's in apartment 3... Oh. Oh, almost sneezed, sorry about that. He's in apartment 301 of this building. That's the kid with that weird board thing, right? Board? You mean the guy who's into Sky, don't you? Oh! Yeah, there was something like that in his description. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. No, oh well, I guess I do. 301. Can we go? Yeah, we can. He won't be able to escape out of the window. Who knows? If he's a snatcher then he probably will. No one is there? Are you sure about that? I'm not... I, I think we can do something. Are you sure? Sense, please. Why don't we see if we can learn anything uh, more about Gibson? What? Is that a clue? Did I miss something? Are you sure about that? That's just strange. It was like a hint that I actually have to go back to Gibson's uh, house and... Uh, sorry about that, that was my chair. I remember I couldn't use that... Um, Chess uh, thing. Chess item. Uh, and I have no idea how do you do it. It's probably it probably is important.
Have you ever heard of the place called Outer Heaven? It's that place that serves buffalo that I was telling you about the other day. That's the first I've ever heard of my dad going to a place like that. He must have had some good reason. Gillian was the only one who ate any. Just Gillian. <laughs> you barbarian, you're so cruel. Settle down, it was a joke, just a joke. Really? Thank goodness. What about it? I can't take it? Yeah. <laughs> he actually is. A bit. This gives me the creeps. Have you ever met him? Did your father know him? No, I don't know him. Who is he? This is the guy who um killed um your Gillian. Well, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help you any better. But I already used it, and I re heard the whole information. know if we can really do anything in this apartment. Um, oh wow. Oh. Is that you, Gillian? Yeah. I was just getting to sleep. <laughs> Hang up. dreams have you had lately? Are you still seeing that same one? Yes, it's that same one over and over. Yes, I'm carrying a child and running from a fire. But no matter how much I run, the fire doesn't get any further away. Then what? It gets hotter and hotter until I can't stand it. Then I leave the child and run. You leave the child? And the flames grow brighter and grow and grow. What about the kid? The child is... The child is as cold as ice. Why don't you record that thing for me with the dream record... Dream quarter? That's cool. Why? I want to see the same dream as you. No, I hate that dream. I wouldn't want anyone else to see it. But Jamie, it might have something to do with our past. 
maybe actually. Ooh. So Jamie, what is under that thing you're wearing? What are you talking about, Jill Gillian? Well, you know, I bet you're not wearing anything. Of course not, I don't wear any underwear when I sleep. But there is something on top of your boobs. <laughs> so that means... Jamie, look out, there is a big roach on your back. A bed, I mean. <laughs> nice try. Where? It, it just under the shits went. R really? Yeah, you'd better pull those sheets off quickly, or... Where? Where is it? Hurry, Jamie, or... <laughs> oh, I can't stand this. <laughs> where is it? Jamie, you've got to pull those sheets back quickly. The sheets, everything, pull it all off. <laughs> Jamie? Uh, Jamie? Gillian? There's no roach, is, is there? You never change, do you? Sorry. That was a nice try, though. Let's continue asking her for a date. The last option available. That's pretty much everything, I think. Hmm. What if I show her this photo? Scare looking guy, is that a suspect or something? Sorry, I have no idea. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Talk to you later, Gillian. Bye. That was awkward, uh, having that call in the front of this girl. <laughs> Maybe if I investigate it. Chess piece? option only to use the disk and that's it. You can investigate chessboard and it tells you the damn black queen is missing and I have it but I have no idea how to use it. I'm clueless. It's kind of um, not great. I feel like every damn end of the playthrough of this game is like me being lost. 
let's go back into oh, shit into Ivan's play place and try to knock on the door again. If nothing happens, then I will uh, leave the rest for the next part. I know we have Freddy's apartment, I just don't want to go there yet. Maybe that's where we are supposed to go first. Maybe Ivan's apartment isn't even available just yet, like uh, there is no one inside there before you go to Freddy's one. I have no idea. But since we have an option, it, uh, I want to check it out. Why don't we try Gibson's I... What do you mean? Learn more? It... This makes no sense. No. Electric matter doesn't move at all, so... Seems like we can't do anything. We will uh, investigate Freddy's apartment in the next part, so yeah, that's where I'm calling it today. I'm sorry we um, wasted some time in this part, because I was a little bit too stupid to save the game. And probably here at the end, because we didn't really do anything. Oh well, it's a pretty much blind playthrough, so... Um, expect to see it a lot. Thank you very much for watching, have a great day everyone and well I hope to see you in the next part. Bye!